The narcissist's biggest trick is to get you to believe that they're sincerely invested in you. And at the beginning, they somehow say the right things. They pull at your heartstrings in a u- unique way. They give you just the right kind of attention, and it's very intense. And it doesn't take long before you do believe that they're invested into you. If you haven't really dealt with their types before, you don't really notice that there are certain red flags, such as this intense mirroring, this intense love bombing. But when they get you to believe it, when they get you to to look at them and think, okay, this person is really into me, this person is showing a real emotional connection towards me, it's very easy for you to drop your guard and to let yourself develop a connection towards them. And that's what the narcissist does to really get you under their thumb. That's how narcissists ensnare the other person. Because they have this fake emotional investment outlay towards you. And because they know what to say to make you feel good, how to come across to make you look at them as somebody reliable, they get you to believe that it's real. And the moment you believe it's real, the next step for you is to allow yourself to develop a similar connection towards them. And it's when it's when you develop a connection towards the narcissist which matches the fake connection that they were displaying towards you. Let me repeat that again. It's when you develop a connection towards the narcissists that's real and that real connection that you feel towards them is is equal to the fake connection that they were displaying towards you that they have you where they want you. And it's from that point onwards that they start to devalue you. It's from that point onwards that their displays of affection, their effort to make you happy, feel good about yourself, it all starts to dry up. Now the narcissist just wants you to pay dividends. Their investment finishes when your emotional connection towards them matches their fake, their initial fake emotional connection towards you. Now the only investment they have towards you is to expect you to pay dividends. And what that means is if they devalue you, they expect you to suck it up. They expect you to stick around. If they project upon you, if they shame you, to feel good about themselves, they don't expect you to leave. They expect you to be stuck. Because the emotional connection that you would have developed towards them, it is it is a tight, firm kind of lasso that circles you and them, and, and it doesn't easily break apart. It doesn't easily rupture. And the narcissist knows that. And that's why once they have you tied to them, they can get away with so much with you. And if you don't know who or what you're dealing with, it can be a long time before you realize, hold on a second, I have to work my way out of this. This this isn't healthy. Because it, it can be a long time of devaluation. It can be a long time of them not being very nice and you stick around because you don't really have it in you to walk away. But when you do walk away, very often the narcissist doesn't know how to deal with that. And sometimes, sometimes you're not physically in their picture anymore. Sometimes the narcissist would have kind of disappeared from your presence. You know, sometimes they're off to somebody new, sometimes they're just doing who knows what. But even so, the narcissists from time to time, they have ways of throwing these jives your way. And they want to see to it that these things sink into you and that it has the intended effect. So, narcissists, they do depend on you to depend on them for a long time. 
once the narcissist has you where they want you, they do depend on you and staying in that, in that position for a long time. And the worst thing that you can do for them is move on relatively soon because narcissists don't, they usually don't have the resources to deal with somebody who manages to bounce out of their relationship quite soon because narcissists, they invest in you quite intensely at the beginning and they expect that to pay off in a long term steady stream of supply towards them. And a lot of times, a good part of that steady stream supply comes after you're no longer with them. Sometimes you're no longer physically with them and you, you are somehow still supplying them. So it's when you bounce out of it sooner than they expect, when you bounce out of it before they've, say, recovered their initial investment into you, that they get kind of shaken up, that they feel they're on the losing end, that they feel they need to set the record straight, they need to set the score script straight. And that's why narcissists, you can see sometimes, they get all worked up. They get all worked up when the person who they were still counting on to sustain them a bit longer, maybe just another six months, maybe just another year, so that they can have someone else paying the steady stream of dividends that you were paying. They expect the person to be giving them that negative supply for quite a while. And when you bounce out too soon, sometimes you almost feel a bit vulnerable because you then have to put up boundaries because it's almost like they're going to try to make a way back into your life. They're going to try to find a way to get you to supply them for another six months, another year. And a lot of times the only way they're able to do that is by pretending they care about you, by pretending they, they've seen the light and they want to work things out with you. Because a lot of times they think if they pull out the right heartstrings, you might allow them back in. Of course, narcissists don't like coming back into your life willy nilly because they have, they like to save face, they have pride. But sometimes when, it, when the pressure builds up too much and they're not getting their needs met, they feel like that's the only way. Again, they do try to find other people to provide that type of supply, but it's there's a certain nature of supply which comes after you've broken up with them for some time and maybe they're expecting you to need them for, say, two years post-breakup and they're really expecting you to supply them for a while. Even if they have other people, like another supply who they're with, or maybe they have other people who supply them, maybe in their family or whatever, the, the nature of the supply that you, being their former partner, maybe you've been away from them for, for six or 12 months or whatever the time is, that fills a certain void in them that they cannot easily replace. And that's why narcissists try to distract themselves, distract themselves. But as soon as they're not distracted from that thing they were distracting themselves from, their mind reverts back to you. It's just the way their mindset works. Not you as a person. They don't care about you, obviously, but they care about what you're providing them. So your purpose for the narcissist is to fill their void, even if it's at your full expense. Don't forget that. They want you to fill their void, even if it's at your full expense. Thanks for watching.